We've got a brand new yacht that just arrived. We want to walk you through. This is a 2016 441 Meridian. Enjoy the ride. Let's walk through this beautiful boat. We're going to start back here at the swim platform, fully integrated swim platform that's built into the boat, not an extension. You can see how Sea Ray has done a really nice job of making a shore power gutter here that you can put the shore power in, close it over. You don't have to worry about stepping over. It keeps everything looking nice and clean. Big mooring box on the back of the boat. As we step through into the cockpit, you've got a very large cockpit on the back of this boat, uh, big enough for a dance floor. So give you an area to put some chairs if you want to put some folding chairs in here. And it's all underneath a hard top cover here. No bimini tops. This is a fully fiberglass integrated hard top. Really, really nice high end look. So let's go inside the boat into the cabin. One of the first things you're going to notice here is this beautiful, high polished, heavy stainless steel sliding glass door. There's no laminates here. This is a true stainless steel door. So beautiful, heavy duty door. As we walk into the cabin, first thing you're going to notice is all of the visibility around you. You feel like you're in a high rise condo in a, in a Meridian. First thing you notice is whether you're standing or you're sitting, you've got line of sight to the water outside. The lower windows, when you sit down, now you have line of sight no matter whether you're standing or sitting. Really a beautiful boat. They made a lot of decorative changes for 2016 in the 441. You'll notice, you'll notice these beautiful upholstered captain's chairs here to the side. Nice end table with a beautiful lamp. Bones surround sound system with a nice flat screen TV integrated in. As we go over to the starboard side, you'll notice this nice L-shaped sofa. Really a nice layout with the high-low table. This will actually come up if you're entertaining and you want to be able to have somewhere to set drinks and stand around, you'll be able to do that here. Or it can be at this height for a coffee table. You've got an ice maker, very conveniently located just by the cabin door as you're walking out to the cockpit. And a nice area for storage and entertainment area here as well. One of the things that I would really tell you to look at on a, on a Meridian is, is the architecture that's up on the ceiling and the design work that they've put into it. Really, really a lot of attention to detail on this boat with the woodwork and everything. So we're going to step up into the dinette. This boat has a dinette that's up high and a, and a galley that's up high. Nice U-shaped seating. You see four or five people around this very comfortably. And it's directly across from the galley. This isn't just an out of the corner galley. This is a this is a galley that's fully featured. Got nice sinks, nice uh, full size refrigerator, undermount stainless steel sinks. And you'll also notice here a three burner stove. Cuisinart convection oven and storage galore. All of this is storage, and they really do a good job of taking advantage of all of the space that's within this galley. Beautiful hardwood floors, as you see here. We're gonna walk down into the V-Berth now and show you the sleeping quarters on the boat. One characteristic of a 391 or the 441 Meridian is you always have a hard time figuring out which one is the master stateroom. On the 441, they actually have an island bed in it, but large full-size bed, beautiful vanity. It's got a nice area for you to sit down, pull the stool out, get your makeup done, store your makeup, hair dryer, all that kind of stuff in here. Really a nice area to get out. And one of the things that you'll notice, again, and the common theme in a meridian is the beautiful windows. As you're getting ready or you wake up in the morning, look out, you're at water line, you see the ocean from out there. Cedar line closet, a large oversized closet. This is a yacht, so we don't put small cruiser cedar line closets. We actually put a big closet for extended stays. As we look here, you notice a nice jump seat here. If you wanted to sit and read a book or have a cup of coffee in the morning, great area to set a coffee maker up if you do have guests and you don't want to have to come out of your stateroom another great area for that and as you turn around and look off to the port side above your headboard you'll notice another beautiful window right at water level there's no better way to wake up than to see that so now we enter into the v-berth one of the things you'll notice is this beautiful island bed 
with a very easy step through to get into the bed so you don't have to climb over somebody. You got closets on both sides. Flat screen TV that's perfectly positioned as well as DVD player and sound in here. You'll notice a completely separate shower with a lot of room. I'm six foot five and will actually fit inside the shower. Vanity and vacuum plus that as well. So as we enter this bridge, first thing you're going to see is how big it is. This is a massive bridge, one of the largest in its class. For a 44-foot boat, this is as big as it gets. This boat has a very nice L-shaped seating area. We'll seat six to seven people with a nice table for serving, for cards, as well as a very well laid out wet bar area. You got a nice flush mounted Kenyan grill. One of the easiest and cleanest grills in the yachting industry to cook on. Storage under here, a nice sink. As you look across here, you got your refrigerator, flat screen TV, and then on the first mate chair here, got a nice bench seat that will seat two to three people as well. Very large glove box and a very well appointed console helm station. One of the first things you'll notice is the Raymarine GPS unit that's on this boat. Raymarine depth sounder. The Vessel View 4 which is the most current Vessel View system that Mercruiser is making. DTS shift and throttle which is the all fly by wire no cables involved. Skyhook or virtual anchor system which comes part of the Zeus slash joystick system. This boat has all joystick docking, takes all the anxiety away. If you want to go sideways, you push the joystick sideways. So really, really nice feature on this boat, makes yachting a lot easier. So one of the coolest features on this boat is this bridge is completely air conditioned with two air conditioners, not one. Meridian went above and beyond on this boat, did two air conditioners. I was on this boat, it was 95 degrees here in Dallas the other day, and it was 74 degrees here on the bridge. An incredible feature if you're in a warm weather environment, you can't ask for a better feature on this boat. I'm Brendan Bailey with the Marine Max Dallas Yacht Center. We'd love to walk you through this boat. Please give us a call at 469-293-9095, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.